My name is Chuck Murray. I'm a physician scientist at the University of Washington School of Medicine. I'm a professor in the departments of pathology, bioengineering, and medicine slash cardiology, and I'm the director of the Institute for Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine. So there's this proliferation of stem cell clinics, I'll use air quotations for them, uh, that have popped up all around the country. This is a nationwide problem, uh, but Washington State, unfortunately, is not immune to this. That they, They've popped up in the Seattle area and, and Bellevue uh, and the eastern part of the state as well. So they're, they're all over the place. Uh, and these are clinics that purport to have uh, the latest and greatest in stem cell technologies to use as clinical therapies for today's patients. The promise in their uh, newspaper and television ads and things like that, mostly to work on problems related to musculoskeletal disease, so arthritis, uh, knees, hips, shoulders, that sort of thing, uh, torn ligaments, uh, sore muscles, that, that sort of stuff. And then if you go to their websites, they have an extraordinary list of things that they purport to be able to treat, ranging from erectile dysfunction to autism to neurodegenerative diseases to heart failure and so forth. And it's uh, entirely implausible. The proven stem cell therapies at the moment are in blood regeneration. So stem cells in the form of bone marrow transplantation or cord blood transplantation or uh, blood, uh, stem, blood stem cells that we harvest from the peripheral circulation, right? So all of those have been well documented to be able to regenerate patients' blood forming abilities. And this has been principally used in areas of cancer. Everything else is experimental. So stem cells for heart regeneration, which I do, completely experimental. Stem cells for the treatment of arthritis, completely experimental. Stem cells for vision loss, completely experimental. All of these, basically any other application that you can imagine is unproven. I mean, we just have to say buyer beware that it's, it's kind of like the Wild West right now. They uh, are operating without the uh, blessing or the authority of the Food and Drug Administration. They're, they're sort of flying under the radar at this point. The FDA has recently recognized this as a, as a na nationwide problem, and they've got a three-year plan to um, step down, to crack down on it and, and to try to bring more order into, into this Wild West stem cell clinic business. Uh, but it's, it's very slow at the moment. Many of these are not even physicians. They are, for example, aestheticians. People who are trained to give Botox injection to treat wrinkles are actually doing joint injections with stem cells that, uh, that, that have been harvested from a patient's fat, from their bone marrow, that sort of thing. And so it's uh, very much of a fly-by-night operation. So buyer beware. Um, some patients who received uh, eye injections, for example, cells from their fat were, were then transplanted into their eye. They were blinded. Another person who had spinal problems uh, got an injection into his spine and got a tumor that, that grew into his spinal cord and uh, resulted in partial paralysis. So there have been patients who have been very significantly harmed as a result. So my laboratory is focused on regenerating the heart. And what we would like to do is take stem cells and turn them into heart muscle in a dish and then be able to transplant these back into the hearts of people who have had heart damage. Uh, the heart is maybe the least regenerative organ in the whole body. And so after it gets injured, say, in a heart attack, the heart grows back scar tissue instead of new muscle. And this leaves patients with a deficit in the amount of force that their heart can generate. It doesn't pump as well, and they gradually start to spiral down after they've had a heart attack. At least a great many of the patients do. And as, as a result of this, we have this burgeoning epidemic of heart failure in the United States. About six million Americans right now have heart failure, and we have about a million new patients every year. And so our goal is in perhaps two years, so maybe uh, sometime in 2020, uh, to do our first patients, where we, where we actually seed new muscle cells into their hearts and try to remuscularize it and improve its pumping abilities. Jack? What you got there? I am admiring some cardio. Whoa, look finish. at that. Hey. Isn't that cool? So, so point at the screen and show me what's going on. It's about 95%. So right. They're pure cardio. So it's not quite as pure as you're usually generating <laughs> for us. No, I usually go for 99.9. Nine swirling back and forth like this. So basically they have anchored themselves together and they've kind of lifted themselves.